hello everyone hello my dear students you all are welcome on my youtube channel so today i have a question related with circle circle unseen theorem which was asked in 2016 now look at the question first in the figure o is the center of the circle two chords a b and c d are the chords two chords intersect at point x prove that arc a d arc a d minus arc CA or AC you can write anything and similarly is equal to arc BD minus arc BC we have to show this okay first of all we have to write on given in given I'm not going to write you can write yourself also on this on previous video I was uploaded to unseen theorem which is this one hope you understand this theorem if you are remaining towards this and another one is here if you miss this video please watch it you can enjoy and share with your friends now this one is third unseen theorem which is I'm going to do today okay given in given you can write O is the center of the circle two chords a B and C D intersecting at point X that much you have to write to prove after this we have to write on to prove in to prove also you you have to write down same ad minus ac arc ad minus ac is equal to arc bd minus bc you have to write down in to prove after this construction in construction you have to write down ad and bd are join let's join ad and bd in exam time you have to use scale and pencil not pen and diagram is necessary to draw and always you have to give dot dot line don't give a straight line because you are going to construct yourself which is not in the question so you have to give dot dot line it shows that you construct yourself and you have to use pencil and scale not use don't use pen okay after this we have to draw one table to the left side we have to write down statement and the, to the right side you have to write down reason Okay, this table is ready now to the left side you have to write on a statement and to the right side you have to write on reason in number one one I'm going to write four points here okay now look at here first one angle B A D B A D is half of arc BD inscribe angle is always a half of arc opposite arc so we have to write half of BD inscribe angle is always half miss degree of BD arc BD in number two similarly we can write a D C this angle this angle is half measures of AC so we can write here angle a D C half measures degree of AC similarly in number 3 B D C B D C all angles we have to take this angle is half of BC angle B D C half measures of B C similarly in number 4 angle a b d is equal to half measures of a d a b d is equal to half of a d reason this same reason for all so here i am writing uh, some numbers inscribed 
angle is half degree measure of its corresponding arc okay in number 2 we can write angle d a x plus angle a d x is equal to angle a x c d a x d a x this angle plus a x d a x d this angle is equal to a x c a x c this angle This also we have to write in some two statement are there. Similarly, angle B D X plus angle X B D is equal to angle A X D. You get this diagram B D X B D X. This angle X B D X B D. This angle is equal to A X D A X D exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior angle number two we can write exterior angle of triangle is equal to sum of two non adjacent interior angle okay in number three we can write now look at here properly a x c a x c this angle a x d a x d this angle if this 90 then this also 90 fix because this is the cord always a straight if this 90 so this also 90 it means a x c a x c this angle 90 a x d this angle 90 this to 90 90 means equal it means here rhs equal if rhs equal then definitely lhs also equal so in number three we can write triangle d a x plus angle a d x is equal to angle b d x plus angle x b d what is the reason from here in number three from statement 2 here both equal RHS equal 90 degree here so this also 90 degree RHS equal so LHS also equal now we have to write down in the form of arc D A X D A X D A X and D A B same this one is half of B D so we have to write down right here half of B D other also same A D X A d x and a d c same which is this inscribed angle is half of this arc a c which we already mentioned here so we can write half of a c or c a you can write anything similarly b d x is equal to half of b c plus and this inscribed angle is equal to half of a d from in number four we can write from statement 1 and 3 we took this 3 and from 1 or when you take half common half common remaining BD plus AC is equal to half common BC plus AD half and half cancel now what is remaining here BD arc BD plus arc AC is equal to arc BC plus arc AD. Now we have to arrange PD minus BC 
BC is equal to arc AD minus arc AC or CA. Hence proved. Hope you understand this di uh, in this theorem, this unseen theorem, which was asked in 2060. Maybe it will repeat again. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe. If you are new, like, comment. If you have any kind of unseen theorem, please comment it and share with your friends. Thank you.